Hi, I'm Chris Gibbs, and this is Ask a Dev. Our question today comes from Paul. He asks, how can I use Touch ID for authentication in my app? Well, using Touch ID is super easy. It's actually just three quick steps. One, create an instance of an LA context object. Two, ask it if Touch ID is available and set up with can evaluate policy. Three, ask it to authenticate the user with evaluate policy. And that's pretty much it. iOS will handle presenting the user with a prompt to authenticate with Touch ID. The only part of this prompt that you can actually customize is the reason string. This should be some text to inform the user why your app is asking them to authenticate. At this point, the user can authenticate with Touch ID or tap one of two options included in the prompt, enter password or cancel. More on these in a minute. When initiating this process, one of the parameters is a block to be executed when the process finishes. If the process was a success, you know that users successfully used Touch ID to authenticate. However, the process can fail for a number of reasons, and it's really important to handle them correctly depending on your app's needs. For example, it's possible for authentication to fail if the user taps either of the two prompt options, enter password or cancel. It's also possible to fail if the maximum number of Touch ID attempts is reached without a success. All of these will include a descriptive error that should be handled by your app appropriately. It's important to know that local authentication cannot be used to gain any information about the user. You can use it to verify that the user is authorized with Touch ID. For example, if you want to have your app prompt the user every set amount of minutes, this is a good way to ensure the user is still around. Getting started with Touch ID couldn't be easier. The first step is to download the sample code titled Keychain Touch ID Using Touch ID with Keychain and Local Authentication from the Apple Developer Library. Check out the YouTube description below for the direct link. And that's it for this week's Ask a Dev. Tweet your questions with hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.